Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Gordon. And we're the Two Gay Reapers. Hey Reefers, here we are again. We're doing a Jar Reef update. Now, I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I think the last one was in January. Now, there's a good reason for this. It's not a fun tank to do anything with at the moment because all I've got in there are tiny little frags, like little nubs, and they're growing just very, very slowly. What I did have planned for this video was another one of those maintenance videos, just tear everything down, clean it out, refill it, la la la. Flashback. As you can see, it's very, very crusty on the outside. Not as crusty as the old design used to get, but we're looking to rectify that today. I'm gonna to put a plastic rim around it to stop some of that uh, salt creep. This top edge around here is extremely sharp and also it gives nothing for the lid to sit on. Now I've got a special silicone tool, so I'm going to smooth off all the edges with that, dipped in some detergent. End of flashback. One of the best things about the jar, however, especially when we've had a few issues with Reefzilla with stability and things like that, is any of the SPS frags that we have over there, if it's not looking good, I immediately chop off a little frag and chuck it in here. It has actually been a lifesaver for many colonies and many pieces of SPS that we've had in Reefzilla. And I love that. And sometimes we've actually been able to take stuff back out of here and put it over in Reefzilla. So it's like my own little frag system just on a very, very small scale. <laughs> but it works. And the fact that I can neglect this thing and it still grows SPS. So what are the parameters in it, Darren? Don't know. Why not? Because I don't test it. Okay. This, this is my version of Gordon's Reef. <laughs> this one I don't test. It's got a heater in there. I wouldn't even know what it's set to or what sort of temperature it's on. Nothing like that. And that's the way I like it. This one too does get neglected and it works. To keep you guys excited and myself interested, we've gone out and splashed a bit of cash on this with some new pieces and we're going to go through and show you all that now. And here we go, here's a top down view here. As you can see right in the middle is our $200 clam. Doesn't look like much now but you wait until it opens up. So this is an Acro Al hybrid clam. So it's aquacultured here in Western Australia. It's probably about an inch and a half or about four and up, just over four centimeters long. So it's very tiny. So the base is actually an old scully skeleton, I think it is. It's actually going to be in here until it grows big enough to go into Reefzilla. I've never seen one so bright. It's really the brightest thing in the tank at the moment, besides some of the green corals, but Having a blue, something blue in the reef that intense is really, really nice. Down below as well, you can also see our rainbow trackie. So it's red, green, and has a bit of yellow on it as well. It's just hunkering under there at the moment. I'll probably bring it out more in the light, but just acclimating it nicely in there. So most of the corals in here are either from Reefzilla, as I said before, or have gone back into Reefzilla and come back. So there's a lot of things such as nice pocky. We had a whole colony of this over in Reefzilla. It died and the frags off it that I managed to save, I put it over here in the reef and it's actually gone really well. It's getting nice and fuzzy, has some color coming back to it. And I managed to save a frag off here and put it back over to Reef Sealer. So it's gonna be mounted on the rock soon. 
So this one up the back is Hide No Fora. It's actually a bit lower than everything there, so it hasn't decided to sting anything yet. Got a nice little Duncan. That is actually from our original Duncan that we had in the Red Sea. It had mainly died, had a frag left, put it in here and it's doing really well. A nice glitter green Leptoceras there. That's a little frag from Reefzilla as well. This is a greenish Digi. It's actually more an aqua color at the moment, which is quite nice. It hasn't decided to grow upwards. It's facing out nicely though, as you can see, it's quite bulbous. Got a tiniest frag of Bird of Paradise Seriatopora. We've got another nice green Leptoceras there. That's actually going really nicely in Reefzilla. So this is the backup frag in here. We've got a really furry red Monty there. And above it, we've got a really nice red Goniapora with additional zoophrag on it. So they're growing into one. I actually stole a bit of the Goni back. So cut the colony in half and put half back into Reefzilla where it's growing really well. This in the middle by the clam is actually a blue stag, but it's got a real aqua green color in the reef here. This is one of the corals we got from Dan from a Reef Pure RO. Now it hasn't quite gone this green in Reefzilla, but it's really colored up in the reef here. This here is the Australian Dallas. So this was the frags that we got from Scott. So it died off. I saved like the two tips of two branches and that was it. And as you can see, it's loving life here. It's really basing out. Also from him were these frags here. This is an Acropora. It was actually more of a pinky purple when we first got it, but it had a strange glitter green polyp base. As you can see, it's reverted back to that until it gets some mature growth on there. So there's two little frags of that. This is a nice orange lepto. I don't think there's any of that in Reefzilla at the moment. So that's our backup colony and only colony at the moment. This is the bird's nest frag that was from Scott. Again, we've taken a piece of this back into Reefzilla, which is doing really well. We've got a little tiny nub of red forest fire Monty there. So it's probably the third time it's come back over here. And every time it comes back, it gets out lovely red polyps like that. We've got a Leptoceras here. That's a nice yellowy orange one. It's very fuzzy. Up the back here, that is actually a piece of my Pectinia off out of Reefzilla. It had some of its blades were broken and I thought, well, let's cut it off and see what grows. So this has actually regrown a whole eye from that little blade. This is an incredibly like fluoro green pocky. We've had two big colonies at this and neither of them have done well in Reefzilla. This was doing a lot better over here and it sort of lost all its color and now it's getting all its nice fluoro green polyps back. Up the back again, we've got another acro. It's nowhere near this color in Reefzilla. I'm not even sure which colony it's off in Reefzilla, but it's really colored up and basing out nicely there. But all in all, seeing though it's neglected, our little safe haven for frags is doing really well. Really impressed with the growth and the basing out on some of the frags here. So I hope you've enjoyed that comprehensive look at the jar reef and what we've got in there, all the little colonies and the extra bits that we've bought this week. If you have enjoyed it, like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. And as always, be excellent to each other and keep it salty everyone. Bye for now. See you guys.